Hey brothers and sisters from the StackNet family, this is Nur Star from Star Galaxy, and I'm very glad to welcome you to another great episode of uh, Shield Me Your Fundamentals, the promotional and marketing driven show on the StackNet ecosystem. And so guys, today we have a very special guest as a project. In fact, we'll uh, have a deep dive on the StackNet on the StackNet wallet scene. And we have the pleasure to have some uh, members from the Bravos team. We have uh, uh, Moti as co-founder of uh, Bravos and uh, uh, Ber uh, Bertrand as uh, uh, marketing uh, chief, uh, uh, marketing chief. So let's welcome them. Hey Moti, how are you doing? Hey Bert. Thank you, Nursa. Hello, hello, Nursa. We are great, as you Don't can see. Me. Yeah, motivated and happy to be here. Great, great. Uh, sorry, guys, I just needed to change the headphones. Uh, uh, thanks a lot for being here once again, guys. And uh, so I would like to, um, to start with Moti. And uh, I'd like to ask you uh, if, uh, would you mind giving me a brief introduction on yourself and how the Bravos project uh, developed itself during uh, this year and which is its uh, general vision, uh, which is its goal. Um, sure, sure, we'll be happy to. So uh, my background is, uh, uh, you know, as a computer science engineer, but uh, uh, I think I spent most of the last decade in uh, a company I co-founded uh, that uh, dealt mainly with uh, uh, the pay TV industry. We did everything from uh, AI and video understanding to cloud software, embedded software, and back in the days, even like physical hardware, physical manufacturing of uh, actual hardware devices. So I'm I'm kind of a, a late comer into crypto. Uh, fell into the rabbit hole, I think, uh, a bit uh, over two years ago. Uh, and uh, luckily for me, you know, uh, did the journey relatively quickly to to layer twos and uh, and to Starknet, uh, and started uh, started building on uh, on Starknet. So, um, I think that uh, you know, for us at Bravos, and uh, it it relates to the fact that uh, uh, that we are relatively new to uh, to the industry. We still, uh, when we started Bravos, we still had a, a very, uh, the very vivid experience of uh, of uh, trying to access crypto decentralized and uh, self custodial crypto, uh, which was uh, a complete, uh, a complete, I would say, challenge, uh, an experience with a lot of friction, certainly compared to classic uh, Web two experience that uh, that we know uh, and uh, you know the introduction of Starknet uh, with uh, zero knowledge proofs with uh, very low transactions fees and uh, account abstraction built into the protocol uh, made us think that uh, we can offer a lot of uh, uh, new things and a lot of innovations into the space to make the entire crypto user experience uh, much more smooth, much better, much more alike to what users are accustomed to in uh, in in the Web two world. So, in a high level, this is uh, this is the journey. I see. Very very interesting. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'd also like to bring uh, uh, on the table the very challenging weeks uh, that the whole uh, blockchain community has been experiencing so far in the last weeks. And uh, I'd like to know uh, what Bravos can play uh, in uh, in this mission to get back on the right track and bring and bring innovation forward in terms of uh, self custodial wallets. So, how smart contracts based wallets such as Bravos secure the journey of both new and experienced crypto enthusiasts from now on? So, I think that's a great question. And, you know, from people outside of the industry, they see crypto as a whole. They see FTX and they say, oh, that's crypto. They see uh, um, uh, Celsius and they say, oh, that's crypto. But, you know, for us, for people inside the industry, we know that there is a big difference between, between what we do and what projects on uh, the Ethereum base chain are doing and the FTX and Celsius of the world. And that's exactly the, 
the difference between centralized solution to decentralized solution and between custodial uh, uh, services to uh, fully self-custodial. And for us, you know, as you know, as, uh, as, as a decision that um, that correlates with our core values, we decided to go to the decentralized world, to the self-custodial world. But as I said earlier, we recognize that the experience in the decentralized self-custodial world is uh, is very challenging. It, it is challenging for for certainly for new users, but also for for experienced users, and that's why we see. Uh, from time to time, even in the in the decentralized world, we see all sorts of uh, uh, phishing attacks and all sorts of hacks, etc. Uh, and for us at Bravos, together with uh, the power of Starknet and the built-in account abstraction that we've mentioned, we think that we have a very good chance to tackle that and to offer uh, a smooth experience and uh, and and the high level of security that takes the burden of and the responsibility from the user's shoulders uh, and, and move it into the software, move it into the, the wallet itself to protect the user and take care of everything. Uh, and a classic example of that is the hardware signer feature capability that we have just, uh, just announced a few weeks back. Uh, and it will be available by end of week on mainnet. And uh, currently it's uh, it, it ran it ran nicely uh, on testing for a few weeks, uh, and uh, and this hardware signer capability actually uses uh, users mobile device built in security chip in order uh, to sign transactions on the blockchain and giving users the uh, the level of security that they were able to get only with the a dedicated device, which we call hardware wallet uh, in the crypto industry, and which regular users and also crypto users, most of crypto users, uh, do not use. So here we uh, added or, or brought forward uh, the strongest level of security without uh, almost any need from the user to do anything, just enable that as uh, in, their, uh, in their Bravos wallet app. So that's one example of, uh, you know, how to uh, uh, bring people and how to make this segue from the uh, centralized solutions, centralized exchanges, which have a very good experience, but as we know, they are, they cannot be trusted, to the uh, decentralized self-custodial world, which uh, uh, can be trusted because, you know, you can trust yourself, but it, it brings together with it a, a very high burden in terms of uh, uh, security and UX, and both of these things needs to be solved, and that's our goal in Bravos to solve that. Thanks a lot, Mati, for your amazing uh, answer. And uh, I really look forward to seeing the role that Bravos will play, will be playing in bringing uh, account abstraction and the smart contract driven wallet uh, toward the mass adoption, you know, the mass adoption target in the next years. And so uh, I'm really excited about that. Uh, right now, I would like to move a bit towards the marketing and promotional side. In fact, uh, I have a, a question for uh, uh, for Bert, and I'd like to know how Bravos is aiming at these goals that uh, uh, Moti previously mentioned in terms of marketing and promotional strategies. I mean, which are which are the practices to attract more people and builders in the space? How to turn uh, complex concepts into useful, practical, and fun experiences? It's um, it's a complex. Uh, I mean, there is no simple answer for that. Uh, bringing U, UX and security for um, for everyday user, you know, it's something like the product part of of Bravos is doing, led by Moti. So they made, let's say, it's the biggest part of the world because um, uh, the world where we are, I mean, the community where where we grow, the industry where we are, is still very tech, and so it's tech driven, but 
Uh, as say Moti, you know, the main work which is done is like try to understand this, this end users, those people who are com coming from web to people who are using like the e-banking system and so on and making products which are very adapted to them. Like if they stop using the e-banking and start using a wallet, they should almost not see the difference, except that behind everything is decentralized and more secure. So the biggest part of the strategy is of course product. It's a key uh, on uh, uh, in our industry. Nevertheless, uh, when when I joined the pro the project, we discussed with Moti how we can you know like structure our growth or structure the, the interest uh, that people can have for a type of wallet like Bros. Um, first part, we needed to to talk with the tech people. So tech people, they are in the, I mean, you know them because you're in contact with them as well, no star. These are the people from the StarkNet community, people who are working on the ZK rollup industry. And uh, if we look a bit behind that, people who are on the layer two industry. Um, if if some of us, I mean, if, if you came at the last StarkNet CC Lisbon, you made these people, you know. So they are mainly builder tech people. Um, so we grow through these people because they come on the ecosystem. They want to access different projects. They want to test them. And for that, they need a wallet. So we try to answer with, with wallet. We have like already a lot of innovation. We have a complete user experience on desktop and on mobile. Um, so this is a way we, we serve this community. And some, I mean, Moti, you, you will tell it maybe later, but some innovation are coming uh, in the next few months as well. The second part of people will want to reach, but they are still not really in the ecosystem. Uh, this is the end user, of course. So those people who are still on the web two, getting interest with the web three, with the crypto. So they start to understand that they, they should do a bit of trading or move some funds, invest it in different protocol and so on. So this is the people we want to, to, to welcome in, in Web3 and on StarkNet and at Bravos. So for that, we have uh, developed a community-led approach. This is a program we are working on right now. Uh, but the idea is like to find or define a place for these people as soon as they want to, to help the community to grow, as soon as they want to contribute to, to the project, bringing knowledge, uh, promotion effort, tech effort, testing effort, uh, we are creating all this role that we will reveal soon in the next weeks. Um, but this is a way we want to, to grow. This is basically creating place and space for people who want to, to participate to the project. I see. Uh, thanks a lot, Bert. It's, yeah, it's really great to see that uh, Bravos is a very community-centric uh, project. And uh, I mean, uh, uh, seeing uh, and experiencing both your tweet, uh, Twitter account and your Discord uh, channel is, is very nice as there's a lot of uh, um, uh, attention, a lot of uh, interests and a lot of excitement on the, uh, from uh, coming from your community. So that, that's very positive and I really like these aspects. And uh, however, right now uh, I was about to ask Moti for a, an, a, another question, which is about the hardware signer, but he actually explained uh, this, uh, this tech feature pretty well uh, in, in the previous uh, answers. So uh, I like to skip to the next one, which is uh, like, uh, uh, could you guys give us some hints on the future of Bravos? How will Bravos will approach the, the next month and the arrival of the uh, the official Starknet mainnet. Uh, how would you how will you approach it both technically and promotionally? Yeah, so, so I think you you meant not the Starknet mainnet, but the Starknet regenesis, which is actually not uh, going to be a regenesis at all, right? Yeah, yeah, I meant the Starknet. Uh, how would you approach Starknet regenesis? Because as far as uh, I, I've understood, after the regenesis, obviously uh, the mainnet will be fully operational, right? Yeah, so so uh, it's it's important to you know to maybe clarify uh, to everyone who's listening that uh, uh, there won't be any actual regenesis. Uh, okay. The the original plan was that uh, the network will get reset 
uh, restart it again uh, from scratch. Uh, this uh, for for a long time now is not uh, is not uh, is not, not not the plan. And actually, uh, the regenesis will be just uh, just like a regular version upgrade, like we move from version nine to version ten on Starknet, or from version ten to version eleven. So, uh, uh, in terms of end user point of view, there will be almost uh, no uh, no effect for this so-called regenesis. And I think maybe we should stop calling it regenesis because. Uh, uh, it's no longer regenesis. It's simply like the maturity of uh, of the network. Maybe the network is moving from uh, alpha state uh, to beta state. Yeah, I'm not sure yet if uh, if the Starkware guys will want to brand that as as beta, but it it moves to a more mature state. But it's not regenesis, and everything will continue to work uh, uh, as it previously did. And again, from users' point of view, there will be no change. And that's that's a key thing. Because originally we we thought that there will be like a state reset, that uh, everything should be start from uh, from the beginning, and that's no longer the case. So uh, that's one thing that uh, that is that is important. Uh, from developers' point of view, and uh, let's say from Bravo's point of view, um, the, the, there is work to be done uh, uh, to to support this uh, this new upgrade in the version. Uh, but it's uh, you know it's it's kind of similar to uh, to other work that uh, that we are doing to, towards uh, uh, towards major ve versions. Maybe uh, maybe it's uh, uh, it's just a bit more uh, I would say more, more going more deep. Or it's a it's it's a wider wider kind of version. Um, but in essence, uh, when we talk about things that uh, that affect uh, users or things that we want to build that will make uh, the user experience of using the Bravos wallet and self-custodial solutions uh, much more frictionless, uh, then our goal is uh, to make the hardware signer uh, more and more easy to use. As said, uh, it's going to be deployed on, uh, on mainnet by end of this week. So anyone who already uh, try that on on testnet can now uh, work with it and uh, secure real funds uh, on uh, on mainnet and um, we are going to introduce uh, the the hardware signer not only on mobile but also on uh, laptops that uh, that supports that we're going to introduce two factor authentication like we know from uh, web two devices so let's say transactions above a certain amount will need Two signatures uh, in order to be executed by by the chain, something that uh, will give users uh, more confidence uh, that uh, that their uh, uh, that their funds are safe. And again, that's uh, completely aligned to the experience that users are used to today from uh, even uh, non uh, let's say non non financial uh, services or financial sites. Uh, uh, these two-factor authentication uh, uh, methods. Yeah, another thing that we are going to introduce, which I think is very nice, is uh, what we call a paymaster, uh, the ability to pay gas fee, not in uh, not in ETH. So today, if you have, a, let's say, USDC in your wallet uh, and you want to transfer it to someone, you have to have also uh, ETH balance to pay for the gas fee. And if you don't have it, then you need to uh, uh, to transfer it or to swap for it, which is a very cumbersome kind of experience. And the idea is to be able to uh, pay gas fee in uh, almost any ERC uh, token. So, you know, all these innovations on the one hand uh, on security, on uh, on the other hand uh, on operating the uh, uh, the actual wallet more like a more like a bank account, but a self-custodial decentralized bank account. This is uh, uh, this is our focus, as well as, and that's also important, as well as the DeFi aspects uh, that people can do with their funds. So not only holders fund holder funds in a self-custodial manner, but also to be able to invest them right from within the wallet. So 
Uh, today, already the Bravos wallet, both on mobile and on uh, the browser extension, has a built in exchange in it. Uh, and people can uh, swap uh, uh, tokens, the available tokens on, on StarkNet directly from the wallet. No need to go to uh, any specific DApp. And the idea is to uh, add more and more features, uh, which are DeFi oriented, that will uh, enable users to. Uh, earn yield on their uh, on their assets, uh, stake their ETH that uh, that they have in the wallet, uh, and so forth. So this is where we we will put our focus in the future, and of course, all that while uh, putting a lot of emphasis uh, uh, on security and, and making sure that uh, user funds are safe. Cool. I, I wasn't aware of these latest uh, developments and features that will be uh, executed uh, in uh, soon, uh, to, yeah, starting with the hardware signer and then with these uh, features that will definitely improve uh, the customer experience uh, of the Bravos StarCraft wallet uh, users. And so now I'd like to start asking uh, the questions that were prepared from uh, the, com the Bravos community. And uh, then also the, the best one, that we'll choose, uh, we'll get a special uh, celebrational NFT of this episode, and also the the most uh, the best questions we receive uh, uh, Bravo's Discord channel uh, rewards. And so let, let's start. I like to start with the first one, which is uh, uh, share your vision of the current market situation. Uh, what's the mood of the team? Mm. Yeah, so I, I think we touched upon that uh, a bit in one of the previous questions. Uh, I, I must say that, uh, you, you know, it's not that we are unaware for the, the situation, but our main focus is in building. Uh, um, we, you know, we never believed in these uh, centralized uh, services. Uh, that's why we build on the, uh, the decentralized and self-custodial world. Uh, and um, I, I know that in in uh, in the near in, in the near future in the near term, uh, it it hurts the the crypto industry. But hopefully, in the mid and the long term, uh, people will understand that they shouldn't ha hold their money in uh, in centralized uh, services such as FTX and uh, and Celsius because. It's actually the bed of both worlds. You get a bank with uh, with absolutely <laughs> no uh, regulatory kind of uh, over oversight. So uh, so I know that uh, you know many people are hurting. Some projects uh, also got hit, and that's certainly not nice. And uh, for all the people that, uh, including the regulator, that uh, looks at it from from the outside. Uh, it looks like uh, crypto is bad and crypto is, uh, uh, is, is, is insecure and so forth. But I, as I said, I hope that in, in the midterm and certainly in the long term, uh, it will bring uh, people back to crypto fundamentals, which is uh, indeed uh, decentralization and, uh, and self-custody. Uh, so our mood is great. Uh, you know, we 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 are very exciting to see, very excited to see the our community grow significantly. Uh, we are uh, very happy that our wallet is the most secure wallet on uh, uh, on Starknet. Uh, we are very happy to uh, being able to uh, offer uh, users on Starknet to access Starknet for mobile. Uh, currently, Bravos is the only the only option to do that. Uh, and basically, you know, we, we like building, we like uh, releasing products and uh, uh, seeing users uh, use them and uh, and enjoy them and uh, the fact that it brings them value. Uh, so, yeah, our mood is uh, we 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 are uh, we are quite well. Thanks for uh, whoever asked the question. <laughs> cool. The vibe no, no. is there. The Bravo's vibe is there. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Definitely. And the no next star, question no star, is... Uh... No star, sorry. Before you go to the next question, can I return you the, the question on, as a content creator, I mean, you, 
you recycle the content from a lot of company. You see like all the market. You see the activity on the market. How many, you know, ang- if the engagement is is growing on the ecosystem and so and so on. As, as a content creator, how do you see the the current market situation and how would you describe actually the mood on the, on on the ecosystem? Okay, uh, I think that the, obviously the overall mood here, uh, overall crypto mood is a bit on on the recovering phase. We are trying to recover from this amazing from this disaster, you know, that happened in the in the past weeks, mm-hmm. in the previous weeks. But overall, especially in the second ecosystem, there's a lot of building going on because actually mm-hmm. we we still don't have a fully operational mainnet. So these uh, the, these problems that arose uh, lately didn't affect us directly. Of course, uh, uh, I heard that, uh, uh, you know, Alameda Research had also invested in some projects uh, in the second ecosystem, but mm-hmm. quite partially as far as understood. So it shouldn't affect us a lot. And uh, I think um, uh, the the ecosystem is pretty vibrant at the moment, so I wouldn't worry uh, that much. And there are projects like uh, Bravos that are doing a, a great job in terms of also of uh, promotional contents, of uh, community building contents. You know, uh, mm-hmm. I think you're the one of the most active projects uh, in the space, uh, and it's very nice also because uh, you can see that you care a lot about creating contents and supporting content creators in the space, mm-hmm. myself included. So it's really, I'm very grateful to see players like uh, uh, Bravos being active uh, uh, in such a good way in uh, in the StarkNet ecosystem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, on, on the community point of view, to make it really short, um, the moods haven't been so much impacted by the recent events. Uh, we see the, there is Every day, like hundred of people coming on our Discord. Uh, I think it's about like two or three thousand per per week. Actually, the trend. So it's a lot. Um, we see more discussion. Uh, we see more people testing the product. So, you know, on the community point of view, on 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 the project, uh, the trend is still really high. That's uh, the, that's cool. Uh, so now I'd like to ask uh, another question. Uh, which is uh, about, uh, uh, well, the, the question reads, does Bravos plan to add support for other blockchains and wallets, uh, I think, for other blockchains uh, such as ZK Sync and EVM compatible blockchains? So, uh, you know, uh, we we chose StarkNet for a reason. Uh, we think that StarkNet with uh, Stark technology has uh, the uh, the most chances to scale Ethereum. And we think that's the most battle-tested technology and uh, both in theory and in practice uh, is uh, uh, has the characteristics in place that uh, allows it to, um, uh, to be the solution, the layer two solution. Uh, and uh, currently our full focus is uh, is to build Bravos on uh, on Starknet. Uh, of course, once uh, once uh, uh, we will realize that users want more than Starknet, or if for some reason uh, Starknet uh, won't be able to to give the scaling that uh, that we look for, which we uh, w- which we think there are low chances that this will happen. Then we will uh, consider other other chains, but currently uh, we are fully focused on uh, on Starknet with all its good characteristics. I see, I see very very well. Uh, right now, I would also like to ask the audience if there is somebody who would like to ask uh, some questions. Maybe we can take two two questions from uh, uh, the listeners here. So apply for for the permission grant. To, to get into the call uh, so that you will also have the chance to win uh, uh, to win the NFT, the promotional NFT of, of the episode. We'll be waiting uh, for some seconds. And if there are no questions, we'll, uh, we'll continue with another question from the Bravos community.
Okay, it seems like no nobody wants to ask uh, a question from the audience. Yeah. So, so, so uh, just I, uh, for, for our side, for yeah. our side, Mr. I asked people actually to write the question in our Discord directly. So that's why okay. maybe they are not as as I mean, people coming from our Discord maybe they are not asking directly here. But um, I will copy paste all the questions directly on our chat. Okay, okay, sure. Uh, then I'll continue uh, with um, with another question. Which is uh, you partially answered the qu this question as well, but uh, I read it. How do you plan to get rid of the seed phrases without compromising account security and decentralization? Yeah, actually, I didn't answer that, and that's a great question because we think that seed phrases are um, are not good. You know, even in the let's call it the traditional Web two world. Uh, there is uh, a growing focus and a growing effort to get rid of text passwords. Uh, and in that sense, the seed phrase is a text password and it's bad. It's uh, highly subject, subject to phishing attacks. It, uh, it gets lost. Uh, it's, it's, it's not uh, the right way for the, uh, for the future. Uh, and we will offer something that uh, that uh, will, uh, on top of all the things that we discussed, the hardware signer, the factor authentication, uh, and so forth, will will uh, will we'll get rid of um, the seed phrase almost completely, uh, or at least uh, make it uh, such that users won't be able to, uh, won't need to worry about that, uh, won't need to write it down, and won't need to remember that. Uh, and uh, again, if we talk about the burden that uh, uh, is on the user's shoulders, I think uh, uh, everyone here that is listening can think of uh, a website that they want to access. And if they forget the password, then it's not a big deal. You know, there, there are plenty of ways to uh, retrieve the, uh, uh, the password back to, to the site. And we want to uh, enable the same thing in crypto, uh, but just to do that without any uh, centralization and uh, completely keep the self-custodial nature of uh, of the wallet, and that's what uh, that's what uh, uh, we plan to do. Uh, naturally, I cannot share more details about that, but I, I promise you that uh, uh, it will be even more uh, revolutionary, uh, even more of a revolution than the than the hardware signer. So uh, there are, there are stuff to look forward to. That's great. Now, I also have another interest, very interesting question, uh, which reads, uh, you saved a competitor. That was very generous of you. Uh, what was your main goal in doing so? Um, uh, the question goes on as well, but I can't, uh, I can't understand the meaning uh, uh, in, the, in the phrases after that. So I, would, uh, uh, I just would uh, ask for this. Yeah. So we, we didn't save the competitor, we saved the competitor users. So even if people made the, made the mistake and they didn't use all our solution and they used the competitor solution, they shouldn't uh, lose their money in, in what is called a, a zero click uh, vulnerability. I assume that this question uh, refers to the zero click vulnerability we have disclosed to uh, the Argent wallet and the Argent team uh, last week. Uh, the vulnerability was as such that uh, an attacker can simply take all of users' money without any action or interactions from the user. Simply sit, uh, uh, an attacker can sit in his computer anywhere in the world and with a few clicks uh, on the keyboard uh, can, uh, uh, can simply clean up, drain all of users, uh, all of Argent users' account uh, without them even knowing about that till the next time they will open the wallet and see the, the balance to be zero. Uh, so again, the, the, the thing is not to save the competitor, but to save the users and to save the community. And I think this is uh, the right thing to do. And we try to, uh, you know, both uh, disclose that uh, to the Argent team and uh, explain to them the problem and how to fix it and uh, wait till they uh, come forward with that and publish that there was an issue before we publish anything, uh, because uh, again, this is uh, this is what we believe in, and uh, protecting the ecosystem and protecting the users is more important than uh, you know competing with a competitor. 
Yeah, the, I agree with you, Moti, and uh, uh, on my own view, I really find, found your actions pretty uh, noble, and uh, I really liked uh, your fair play, you know, in uh, handling uh, this situation. And uh, yeah, this uh, reminded me of something similar that happened in the staking providers scene, where Lido had no, where uh, Lido had found some vulnerabilities in Rocket Pool uh, uh, smart contracts, and they uh, they helped them. Uh, uh, solving uh, the bug, so something very similar, and it's really nice that something like that happened uh, on Starknet as well. And, uh, and most of all, uh, most of all, this, the funds were safe. You know, they're safe, so uh, nobody executed on the um, on the bug, fortunately. And uh, so there was a very good uh, happy ending. <coughs> so um, with this uh, with this question, uh, I think we can um, we can. Uh, uh, go towards the end of the episodes. Maybe I would like to let you choose uh, uh, the the questions you like the most in order to uh, to to then uh, um, give the NFT, the promotional NFT that I prepared. Which questions do you like the most, Moti? Bert, I I will let you uh, choose one and uh, ask, and uh, I will do my best to uh, to answer. Okay. Um, no, uh, I, I mean, uh, could you choose one of the questions that you already received? Which one did you like the most? Yeah. Bert, please. Yes, yes, yes. Um, okay. I, I think the first one you you mentioned, uh, okay. and because it was like share your vision on the current market situation. What's the mood? What is okay. the mood of the team? And why I choose this one? Because actually, since we are doing our AMA in Twitter space, so it's been about uh, 15 of them. This is the first one that someone asked uh, about how we feel and what is our mood. And I find it really interesting that people will start to um, take care of, uh, of the builder team, yeah. the team of builders. So yeah, first question is, uh, is my favorite. That, that's cool. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll arrange for the user to get the NFT later on. Uh, so, guys, the, um, uh, this episode of Chill Me Your Fundamentals is coming to an end. I'd like to uh, thank the hosts, for the, the guests for being here. Thanks, Bert. Thanks, uh, Mochi. And I wish you all the best with uh, your project, with the Bravos Wallet project. And I would also like to thank uh, the audience to take uh, some of the precious time to be here today. So, guys, thanks a lot and see you on the next episode of Chill Me Your Fundamentals. Thank you, guys. Excellent. Thank, Thank you, North Star. Star. Bye Thank bye. you, Thanks, everyone. Guys. Thank you, bye guys, bye. in the community. See you. Bye-bye. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.